Hi everyone, this is the 100th video of the ACT math practice problem series and here we have a nice problem from the concept of matrices. As I always recommend, before seeing the solution, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself and after that of course you want to match with my solution. So let's get started. Here in the question, we have two matrices and each of them multiplied by another trigonometric ratio and then a sum has been taken, right? So it's sine alpha times sine alpha minus cosine alpha, cosine alpha, sine alpha. Those are the four elements of the first matrix plus cosine alpha times then the second matrix is cosine alpha, sine alpha, then negative sine alpha and cosine alpha. So that's the second matrix and we are taking a sum of these two products, right? Since the original matrices are 2 by 2 matrices, then the result matrix will also be a 2 by 2 matrix. So if the result matrix is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix, then let's assume that the result matrix is equal to something like this. Let's say the final sum, this sum, this enter sum will be equal to, let's assume that this is going to be like a matrix, which is let's say A and B and C and D. Those are the four elements, right, of that matrix, of the result matrix. Let's assume that the four elements of the result matrix are A, B, C, and D. And then it will be very easy to calculate the values of A, B, C, and D. So now let's say what is A? Well, A will be equal to sine alpha times sine alpha plus cosine alpha times cosine alpha. If you think about the product and then the sum, right, so it would be sine alpha times sine alpha plus then from the second matrix the first element will be cosine alpha times cosine alpha and if you look at it the first item here is sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha and that is equal to 1. So we have calculated the first element of the result matrix already and that is 1. Now let's calculate B which is the second element on the first row of the result matrix. So then we can say, well, what will be B? Well, B will be equal to, we have to take the product and then sum up all the second elements on the first row. So that will be sine alpha times negative cosine alpha from the first matrix. Second element on the first row will be sine alpha times negative cosine alpha plus the second element of the first row in the second matrix that will be cosine alpha times sine alpha. And now if you look at it, here the two terms, one term is negative and the other term is positive but ultimately they are the same thing, sine alpha times cosine alpha. So they both are going to cancel each other. So then B is going to become zero. So we have calculated the value of B already. Now let's quickly calculate the value of C. Well, C will be equal to, it's the first element of the second row. So for the first matrix, it will be sine alpha times cosine alpha plus the first element of the second row from the second matrix would be cosine alpha times negative sine alpha. And here again, if you look at them carefully, they both are the product of sine alpha and cosine alpha. However, one is positive and the other one is negative. So they're going to cancel each other giving zero. So this is also equal to zero. All right, let's quickly calculate the value of D, the second element of the second row of the result matrix. So here we can say, well, then D will be equal to sine alpha times sine alpha. That's from the first matrix plus from the second matrix, what do we get? We get cosine alpha times cosine alpha. And this is obviously equal to sine square alpha plus cosine square alpha and that is equal to 1. We know that from the Pythagorean identity in trigonometry. So by now we have calculated the values of all the elements of the result matrix. So the result matrix is going to look like this. It will be 1, 0, then 0, 1. So it will be 1, then 0 and then 0 and then 1 and that is our answer. And if you look at the answer options, we have this kind of a matrix under option J. So option J would be the correct option. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.